All right, hello everyone. So today is the 21st of September, Tuesday. So let's take a recap of what happened yesterday. So yesterday we noted the hours, what did we say? We had the 4 a.m., which we had missed, okay? Then we said, let's wait for 2 p.m. And then, yeah, and then 4 p.m. is gonna be important for us. And then 5.52, 5.52 to 6.15, all right? So that time zone. In fact, 6.15 was the thing to go. And 5.52 and uh, 6.16 were pretty much together anyway. Because they're only like, oh, they're only like 20, 20 few minutes away. All right. And then we had the 10 o'clock bar to be mindful about. And that's pretty much it. So let's take a look at what happened. Now, the 4 a.m. we said we missed, and that's the 5 a.m. That it was 4.45, so 5 a.m. 4.45, that's three, four of a big flop down. And then the market. I also said look out for 9 a.m. bar. All right. So that was. Um, something to look out for because it talked about a change in value which was to be logical and that should be around there there you go nine o'clock and then the market starts going up then we had what do we have the two o'clock bar that is the two o'clock bar 240 as you can see nicely on the support okay and then from there on going up and we should be going up to what 552 i guess Yep, that's five o'clock and that's six o'clock there. So 5.52, 6.16 made the top and then the market retraces from there and we're mucking around here today. So today the hours to look out for, let's take a look at the hours for today. Let's see, we missed the 5 a.m. bar. Okay, so 5 a.m. bar should have been on our radar. If you were awake in Asia, if you know how to do astrotechnical analysis, you would have done it, okay? Because that's five o'clock opening there and resistance down. So today to look out for now, look, today at the moment is 8.30 in the morning. So until lunchtime, we don't have much going on. And what's going to be interesting today will be probably be on the two o'clock bar <clears throat> on the two o'clock bar okay so be careful for the two o'clock bar because when that happens from two until 7 43 okay uh, that time period is something to look out for if you're going to trade you're going to have to do it um, at two o'clock or at 7 43 um, yeah, 7.43. And you got to look out for the 11 o'clock bar tonight because that's going to be exciting, especially if you're doing crypto. If you're doing crypto, look out for the 11 o'clock bar today, especially if you're doing crypto, 11 p.m. bar, all right? 11 p.m., that's GMT plus three. So don't get the hours mixed up with your own, okay? Now let's take a look at technically gold. Now yesterday, as we said, astrologically, the hours worked out fine, came all the way up here again, resistance. Let's take a look at the week. Now, as you can see, big fall, pull up. We might come down a little bit more again. Do we have room? Look there or there. I said either on the blue or the red, probably on the red, I would have said, you know, it'll probably come down a bit more. So on gold, we might have a bit more push down. And if that happens, that shouldn't surprise us. Um, we'll have to wait and see. If it pulls back and it matches your hours, astrologically, that'd be good. If it goes up and then it matches your astrological hours, then that's also good because you know what to do with it. Um, let's just... Do this so we can have a bit of a refresh here at the at these levels. All right, so between 638 today and 130, okay, we're gonna have a blank period. What does that tell you? It means you can go fishing or to the gym or whatever. Oh. 
um, because we should end up somewhere at lunchtime and that's when you want to start thinking about trading. So with gold, be mindful what to do. We're in the middle of nowhere at the moment. Well, I can't say we're in the middle of nowhere because that's the 40 zone and you know we like the 40 zone on the PSD indicator. So it's the retracement on the daily is pretty much on 31.84 is for today. So yesterday it would have been a little bit lower. So let's say yesterday it was like 17, I don't know, <clears throat> 37, 1737, let's say, or 40, let's say. Yeah, that's your 40 there. So around here it should have been your buy level on the PST daily yesterday. Okay, right there on the PST, so slightly lower. So if it pulls back again, okay, um, it might push down a little bit more. So be mindful, like I said, be mindful. Let it just come to you. Let the market come to you, and then we've got stuff to talk about. Otherwise, don't do it. If you're going to buy it, do it either there or there on the line. On the weekly, um, yeah, that's about it. There's not much else I can do because if it breaks below there, then we'll start coming down further and you'll find yourself here at 1,685 and that will be down there. Would it do that? Um, possibility, but I wouldn't bet on it. Okay, 85 is just there on the line. So there's a chance it might do it if it does buy it, okay? Any chance of it coming back down there, buy it. Any chance of it coming back down, buy it. On the monthly, we've still got a bit of room to come down, but how far is the question? Um, yeah, because this is way down, 45, at least 45, if it goes down to 1,650, which is right there. Okay, so this is also another option. Will it do it? Well, on the monthly, we'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's take a look at silver. Silver. Okay, so these are support levels on the PST, as you can see 4760, 2186, good level to buy, 2186. Well, it's pretty much there. So this zone is a buy zone. 28.96 is 21.09. So we mark these levels, yeah? 21.86.20.22.09, right? Where are we? 22.20. is there 2196 so 2196 2189 that zone 219686 this should also be your zone there okay this is your daily so this is your buy zone it's done a little bit of it let's see it's done 22 on the weekly it might still go to that 28 level if it does buy it to 2109 I'm not sure if it will go down that far, but 2109 is a PST level. If it does, that's your buy zone. Would you sell? Don't, be, don't you be selling on a support level? Okay, this is a price support zone. Do not sell here. Right then. Let's take a look at the US 500. So the SP 500. Okay, look at that. On the weekly, it comes to PST and then it goes up. Comes to the PST and it goes up. Is that a surprise? I don't think so. Look at that on the daily. Beautiful goodbye kiss. On the weekly, it did the targets nicely. Nicely. Just It's just amazing how this PST works. What is it? 50-52. 4,338, 4,311, so 4,311, 4,311, 
4,311. There you go. How do you like to get in right at the bottom of the market? Did that also match our astrology for yesterday? Let's take a look. I did say look out for, um, for that aspect at 10 o'clock, right? Remember, 10.13, and that's your 10.13 bar. So you've been warned. Okay, and at 10.13, that just happened there. Why? Because we had a nice aspect there. Okay. Bang. And that's about it. And then what happened from what time did it start falling? Like I said, we missed a 4 a.m. bar, but 2 o'clock, you should have been in action. That's your 4 o'clock there. Okay. 4 o'clock bar. Yeah. And that's it. 4 p.m. bar. That's your 4 p.m. bar. And 5.52 was the other one. And that's your, yep, that's your 5.52 bar. There's your 552. So entry would have been around here. Stop loss there. Down here, you should have definitely got an out at 10 o'clock. That's for sure. Um, because that was a reversal coming up. Um, now, so it's all good. Rocking and rolling. What to do today is the same thing. Let's take a look at where we can sell. This is not a bad sell place simply because it is a goodbye kiss on the day, okay? So the market would either sell here or the red line there. So on the lines, as usual. On the weekly, you might have a bit more room to go up next week because it's a fall, a bit of a pull up, and then selling would be the better option. So if the market stopped here, and if this was where the market stopped, Okay, that is your, you're going to have to draw two lines there. One is there. One is right there. Okay. And let's do this. Okay, so, that, so that's one. The second one, you're going to have to draw from here to here. Right. there okay so the market coming back up to these levels is an option um this 4300 odd whatever that is this zone is also going to be your resistance 4396 so this zone is resistance and if it pulls back up even higher you're going to have to get in there okay slightly higher as well so wait for that retracement is this a good place to sell yep it is a good place because it's a good buy kiss and there's nothing wrong with entering it into a good buy kiss trade i just keep the volume lower than usual okay because we fell down pretty good the market will want to retest it so today is what tuesday if they retest it that's an option to you know, come down again, maybe tomorrow. So if there is an up move, they'll sell possibly to retest and then see how things go afterwards. But this big fall is a sign of things to come. So it broke this line as well here. So what you want to do is on pullbacks, look for where you can sell and do it on the lines. Let's take a look at stocks 50 for Alex. Now, Alex went short on stocks 50 on the weekly goodbye kiss. So let's see. We're just going to have to wait for this thing to happen. Oops. That's our new astrology software, by the way. It's working pretty cool. It's really easy to use. Very practical. And it's designed specifically for the way we do financial astrology. So it is really, really handy. So come on, where are you? Let's take this down. Okay, stocks 50. 
Okay, so here was, right, this is what this was the cell level there. And look, this is all the targets there. So from here, you should wait for a bounce. See on the PST 4556, 4007. The lowest the market did was 4004. Nice. Once again, perfect. Because that was a good buy kiss last week. Alex went short all the way down here, as you can see, to the targets. And on the daily yesterday too, look, yesterday, this is where you would have gotten out. This would have been also like a buy level, 2686. So you would have been looking for 4031, 4007 to be a buy zone because that would have been your target. And this is your 4,007. Okay, 4,007 there. Right at the bottom of the market. What do you have to say to that? And 4,031, this would have been your buy zone there. Okay. okay so that was your buy zone. And then the market went up. So this was a good fall down. Obviously, don't sell around here now. Why? Because the market bounced off from the target. So we'll probably pull up a little bit more. So you got to wait because the market will probably come up to this red line next week, HCL1 or this week. Okay, so 4,077 is what you should probably be looking to come back to this thin red line now this is the weekly so if it doesn't come up there this week but it's only tuesday it probably might then the market will want to sell again and also you want to look for a new setup if the market does go up you'll sell on a good buy kiss on a daily as well but this weekly was sweet because last week was a bang bang so on the pull-ups, you can still do that. Also do this. As you can see, we're in a channel here. So what you want to do is um, don't sell at the bottom of the channel. Don't do that. Okay. The only thing you can do with stocks 50 is wait for a retracement to sell. Or if it comes down, buy it. If it comes back down to retest the PSD levels, you can go long again. Okay, it's not a problem, but make sure you keep your lungs, um, you know, in check. Make sure you're in control of your lungs because it's a big fall. So the market may want to do some kind of consolidation before um, shorting again. And here, what you have to do is also understand it's an impulse there. So from here to here is what you have. So the market's got room to go up a little bit more. Okay, before they sell it, it's got room to go up a little bit more. So see how that goes. Okay. Now then, let's go to Australian dollar. Okay, come on. Okay, this is the Aussie dollar. So where are we here? That's our line here, as you can see, nice and sweet. What happened yesterday? Yesterday, that's, there you go. That's your four o'clock bar there. Two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock up, and then sell down. So that was your 4 p.m. bar. And at 240, that's where you were. Look at that, 240. You're down here at the two o'clock bar. And then you're up there at 4 p.m. And then you're down here. You've got all the turn points right. So what to do with this today? Like I said, go with the flow of the market. 
around here i said be careful you know don't short heavy because this is as you can see a support zone and we're on a good buy kiss level here so let's get rid of this let's get rid of that okay that's your good buy kiss there will that hold good question where should we sell if we want to sell well look look where the market bought today let's see just slightly above the line there on the pst level there the blue dotted line so that's where they bought let's take a look at the weekly we're on the 40. so what to do here the market's probably going to retrace up a little bit and then and then we're probably going to be looking to sell this again all right so this has still got room to come down, I reckon. Um, but let's do it with a pullback up. So on the PSTs or on PST targets, you can sell when you match it to a price level as well. If you want to buy it, wait for a dip at the bottom of that PST level again. Same thing. Okay, so just wait for your PST lines to um to be touched let's take a look at the oz 200 as with all indices there you go beautiful look at that right on the bottom of the parallel line beautiful place to get back into the market and buy there's no precision then pst seriously and that's your down breakdown. Wow. So look at that. How specific is that? The market goes as low as 60.06. 60.06. And we've got here 59.46. 7,077 is where you should have, you know, done the good bike is 7077 the lowest it did was 7077 here 7100 is the lowest it did Seven thousand. 77 is there just slightly under it just slightly under but look how the pst would have said go 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 you would have just gone in there and then bang beautiful move beautiful move what to do if it goes back up to the weekly sell it off okay so if it comes back up here just sell it off and that's fine on the daily, yeah, goodbye, kiss 43, 7, 3, 3, 5, 7, 3, 3, 5. That's also a good place to be selling. 7, 3, 3, 5. So this zone is a good sell zone. The weekly is a sell zone. This is your kill zone to go short again. Okay excellent pricing look at that and when you match it to astrology it works wonders look let's see 10 o'clock we said right look out for 10 o'clock that's your 10 o'clock that's your five o'clock so with five o'clock you're coming down 10 o'clock you would have been out of that short okay because the aspect there was one of the bad boys and then bang so it's just perfect okay now this up move and then resell at a retracement so up there is your sell zone trade on the lines let's take a look at bitcoin Now the Bitcoin, 
Now, yesterday I said this is this will probably break down. Okay, it's likely that it's going to break down on there, and it did break down. Okay, yesterday the market was there, and I said this looks like it's going to break down. The reason is because we have an aspect there, and that's your breakdown on two o'clock. Yeah, there you go, two o'clock bar there. Okay, that's right, but there you go, 240. All right, so with the 240, with a nice breakdown, and then boom, back up for a goodbye little kiss there. As you can see, that's your goodbye kiss happening there. And then back down, so you've got the Slowing down. Now, today, like I said, we missed the 5 a.m. bar. Not much we can do about that. Um, but like I said, for cryptocurrencies, 11 o'clock bar is going to be exciting. What to do with this? What to do with this? Um, I'd wait. I wouldn't rush into anything. Why? Because if this falls, if this pushes down more and more, it's just they'll come down here. They'll bring it down here. There'll be no mercy when, you know, back down to 29, possible. So on the price, back to 36 to 32, 500 is logical. On PSD, it can come all the way down to 41, 38, which is 34,272 to 29, 200 odd. So... If they make a lower low, it shouldn't surprise you, okay? Uh, if they come back all the way down here again, it shouldn't be a surprise. And then this will be a flat triangle coming down, and then you want to move back up again. The reason I say that is because a full retracement and then back down, it could come all the way back down. There's no joking matter with this, okay? Um, so don't be convinced that it's going to go up, up, and up forever. Be mindful for technical analysis. And look, that's the blue line there on the monthly, which is 56, telling us 36, 469, 36-odd. Um, and here as well on the weekly, do we have a 36? Yeah, we've got a 36 down here. So we could come down to those levels pretty easily. Okay, um, 36, 34, and that will also bring you down here as well. If I was to do this, just bear with me. If I was to take this connected to that, that would be 40 line there. 41 there. 3184. Yeah, so 36 to 34, we've got the option to come down. So I'd be careful on that one. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. And on the euro dollar, What do we have on the euro? On the euro dollar also nicely turned yesterday, astrologically as well. Look at that. That's 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So 2 o'clock, nicely going back up here. Now what to do with this on the euro dollar? Let's take a look at the weekly again. So nice pull back down here. Still possibly to go down, but look, 40, the 40 line is what you got to look out for. Okay. And... On the daily, anything can still happen. If it goes up a little bit to this red line here, it'll get a cell reaction. HCL1 at 1748. So 
1748-65, that's your kill zone then. Okay, so this zone is also your cell zone on this one. And it's logical, nice impulse push, up retracement, bang down. So you can follow that one down. I wouldn't sell too aggressively because it's already done a big short there. And that's pretty much it. If it pulls its head back down again, you've got to wait for your PST lines um, and then do it and then go long or short on the daily as well. You can always go long on the PST here. So short, short, long. Okay. All right, then I hope that helps. Have a good one. Any dramas, drop me a line.